Yo, yo, yo. I just try to make the lights flash, like. So, man, how you been? Oh, here we go. We talking, huh? Nipsey motherfucking hustle. What you know about Nipsey hustle? What did you hear about Nipsey this hustle? This guy today? shot outside his house or something on Sunday. A store or last thing? night or this morning? Something. That's crazy, man. Now, though, listen, please, people, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, I just did school like computer. You know, an accelerated computer course a few years ago, and you know, one of my class students was telling me about uh, young Nipsey Hustle, and I listened to the, to the cat, but you know, he didn't really tickle my fancy. Then I heard what happened to him today, or first thing in the morning. It's crazy because I woke up this morning, then I started meditating when something said meditate, because it was the first of the month. You know what I'm saying? So I said, okay, meditate today. And then as I was meditating, before I meditated, something said news. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, something big in the news today. I didn't know, but I knew something was in the news today. Something that was going to hit, you know, home. And not, now, like I said, Nipsey Hussle, I wasn't no fan or nothing, but... You know, what we do on That's Another Story podcast, you know, we be having conversations, man, and... You know, one of the topics that we've had is murders and shit, you know. And, and, I, and I be trying to tell this man right here, you know, it's really real in the fucking field. He think it's like a joke. It's funny or something. like, But no, motherfuckers is getting killed out here for real. It's not so, a joke. It's so not a game. So they found a shooter? Mm, I don't know. This is what I really want to say about all that, though. Here's the kicker. So, I guess there's a doctor. His name is, let me see if I can find it. Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi. Sebi. Sebi, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yep, Dr. Sebi. Okay, so Nipsey Hustle. Okay, oh, let me back up. I get, so this is what I really want to talk about. Unfortunately, it's sad that. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hustle's gone. You know, and but I knew it had to be there's a reason, man. It's bigger. It's bigger than him just getting popped, you know what I'm saying, on the street or in LA or coming out of his store. I knew it was bigger than that, man. I, I just had it in my in my feeling, in my soul. You know what I'm saying? Once I seen it, I was like, something, something is up with this dude's murder. You know what I'm saying? And then a couple of hours later, I seen that he was doing a documentary on Dr. On Dr. Sebe. Se yeah. Sebi. Yeah, yeah, I know about Dr. Sebe. So, now, people were trying to say that um, Lisa Left Eye, she went to go see Sebi. Oh, my God. Shortly after, shortly after she went to go see Sebi, she died. She got killed in the car accident. Now, somebody tried to link that car accident in with, you know, her meeting Sebi. Today, when I read that Left Eye seen Sebi, then Sebi was held by police and then mysteriously came up dead. Now, as Nipsey Hussle was doing a documentary on Sebi and now he's dead. You know what I mean? Now, I just want to say that Lisa Left Eye, I seen the documentary in which she had passed away. And... She was going through some things with TLC and she just wanted to get a break and, you know, do her and just get a break. You know what I'm saying? And she was on a vision quest or she was soul searching, man. And it's kind of crazy how she ended up dying because she felt like there was a spirit chasing her that was trying to kill her. And they were like... In that documentary, there was like, um, they were driving in a road, down a road in Honduras and a little boy ran out in front of the car. You know what I'm saying? They hit him and they killed him. And 
Now, the crazy part about the story is, is the little boy, last name was Lopez. So she felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though the little boy got killed, like she felt like maybe it was supposed to be her that was supposed to die in that moment. But the little boy died. And his last name was Lopez. Her last name was Lopez. Okay, fast forward. Shortly after that happened, maybe a day or two later, you know what I'm saying? The car loses control, swerve off the road, you know what I'm saying? They roll, do -do 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 -do, and she loses her head, you know what I'm saying? It was a freak accident. Everybody else, and she had her seatbelt on. And everybody else walked away except for her, you know what I'm saying? So I don't believe that just because she's seen Sebi that, you know, they knocked her off for it. No, I don't believe that. So I don't think Lisa Left Eye's death had anything to do with Sebi. Like maybe, possibly, Nipsey Hussle's death does. Because he was about to bring it back to life. Yeah, he's making a documentary. So now, if this is true, now this is this has sparked a whole big everything because here we are talking about Sebi. You know what I'm saying? And if you're listening to this, then we're probably sparking the. No. So maybe because the of his death, in your mind. because of his death, they're gonna learn more about Doctor Seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're talking about him now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I wanted to talk about like Nipsey Hussle on um, PMIP Productions. You know, as a matter of fact, I added uh, a to the menu today news. You know what I'm saying? So when shit happens, hmm? <clears throat> I'm just afraid the battery's gonna run out. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Hot damn. But anyway, so uh <clears throat> I didn't really want to talk about you know, I, well, I thought about it cuz it was big news and I feel like that was perfect news for PMIP Productions. But, you know what I'm saying, I've got, you know what I'm saying, I'm Willy Wonka on Facebook as well, you know what I'm saying, and usually I be promoting black on black violence and shit, you know what I'm saying, but in 2019, I'm not promoting that type of shit, so if I'm not promoting that shit on my Facebook page, I feel like I shouldn't be doing that shit, you know, the hell, that's nasty, that's like my nails, look, that shit won't go, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all rooted like a motherfucker. Literally. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I didn't want to talk about that death and shit, but what I did want to fucking write about is this Dr. Sebi. You know what I mean? Now, my interest is sparked in this, this gentleman. And from what I know, Sebi had the cure for AIDS, and he also had the cure for cancer. And a few other motherfucking th diseases and shit. And maybe that's why his ass is knocked out the motherfucking frame. But we'll talk um, about him on the next episode of and, That's Another Story and, podcast. And, 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 and Nick Cannon says, oh, here it is. Look, that's a, ain't that some shit? So this is, this is what came up for me next. So I was like, oh, so I am going to put this as content, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, on PMIP Productions. Now, that could also make me a, a, a target. And, this, and us talking about this uh, Dr. Sebi right now could be making us a target as well. Okay, so but, uh, we're going to end it because coming up to our 10-minute line. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. If David Icke says, blow the whistle, even if it means being like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Black Panthers, JFK... Uh, Nipsey Hussle, Tupac, and the list goes on. All right, we out. But hope we ain't really out. Pray for us, and we praying for y'all. One. <laughs>